Hi, everybody. My name is Adam Smith, and I am from Cheney High School, of Cheney High School FBL Advisor, and I just wanted to do a little promo video for you to design the Washington State pen. So I thought the best way to do that would just to be to take you on a pen adventure. So I hope you're ready and so I buckled up because let's go look at some pens. All right. So Washington State has been doing pens for since about 2010, 2011. And so here we go. Here is the first ever Washington State pen. They had one that was not designed by students, but this is the first one designed by students. There is a second one, the 2012-2013 pen, 13-14, 14-15. We were so awesome that year that we decided to have two. 15-16, 17-18, 18-19, 17-18 pin. There we go. Focus is coming in on this. There's a 17-18, 18-19, and then last year's that we never got to give away. Um, it says 20, so maybe that was 1920. Maybe we'll do 2021. Who knows? So what makes a really good pin? Well, these were all designed by students in Washington. Um, and let's go ahead and take a tour of what makes a good pen in my 12 years of traveling to the national conference. Here's some things that I would like to show you. Sometimes tradition is cool. A wonderful New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. Sometimes the wild and crazy is fun. I particularly like the Nebraska one. They, Nebraska could not give away enough of those pens. Sometimes they tell you where you're from. Sometimes they tell you where you're going. So the polar bear was for um, when we went to Georgia, Wrigley Field for when we went to Chicago. Sometimes they represent your shape, this, your state by shape, color, and icons for what it is. Sometimes um, bigger is not always better. So these were some of the monstrosities. They were fun while you were there, but they quickly lost their luster. Like, the Sasquatch, he's cool, but eventually it just was too big. No matter what it is, you want your school or your state to be well represented. So I always try and find Utah. Utah always has a wonderful way to bring some really unique thoughts and ideas to what they are doing. The ice cream cone was amazing. Colorado also has a ton of really cool stuff. They always figure out a way to represent San Antonio there. Um, represent where they're going. This one was when we were in Anaheim and still figure out how to represent their state as well. So where you're going and the state. And I always like to find California. They stick with this wonderful theme of having a friendly bear for the golden bears somewhere in there. So no matter what you decide to do with your pin, um, hopefully you'll get together with some partners and figure out a way to design something. It's not always about the uh, the designing skills. It's about the concept of what you're doing. But no matter what, I just want to point out to you that you can end up with a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of memories that are traceable by just looking at and having these pins to kind of represent where you were and kind of represent what it was about when you were there. So have fun designing this year's pin and hopefully yours will be printed and publicized for everybody to have all across the nation.